that I have been so excited to do for quite a bit of time because this is going to be a spring refresh vlog. Spring is actually, I think I say this with every season, but spring is definitely one of my most favorite seasons. I love when everything just comes back into bloom. I'm very affected by weather. So when weather starts warming up and you just feel the sun more and everything is so inspiring around you because it's all green and bright. I love spring so much. And so I wanted to do a vlog that's just kind of refreshing for the new season. I don't think with every new season that you necessarily need to buy a lot of new things. You need to change a lot about your life, but I think that there are ways to kind of appreciate the seasons and switch things up a little bit. And it kind of works out because we actually just got back from Florida yesterday. So we were there for a week. I have a whole vlog on that. I'm actually working on it right now. I was working on it this morning and I love this vlog. It is such a fun vlog. So if you haven't checked out that vlog, you definitely should. I made a list of some things that I wanted to do to kind of refresh for spring, but today is Sunday. So we are doing kind of some more just normal things. We have church this morning. We might hang out with our friends because it is actually 80 degrees today. It's gonna be a beautiful day. So we're gonna try to see them and hang out at White Rock Lake in Dallas. I have a lot of work to do. I did some unpacking this morning from our trip. We got a load of laundry in. So just kind of normal Sunday reset things today. But also in this vlog, I want to do a little bit of spring cleaning and kind of more of a full clean. So there are a few things that I don't normally do all the time. Things like cleaning out our pantry, deep cleaning our fridge. I have this baking soda refresher I wanted to do on our couch and our mattress that I like to do. Cash is over there playing with his little toy right now. And then I wanna do a little bit of a home refresh. So I don't wanna buy a ton of things, but we do need a rug in our kitchen because we had a leak in there and it ruined our rug that we had in there. So I wanna get a new rug for there. Nothing crazy though. I also kinda wanna switch up the shelves a little bit, maybe put some more bright things over there. There. We're not gonna be in this apartment too much longer, so I don't wanna do anything drastic, but I also kind of wanna hang our pothos plant that I've been wanting to do, so that would be fun to do. And then I have a lot of my propagated plants over here. I think one of them can actually be planted, so we might do that. And then maybe grab a couple of new candles because I've burned through all my candles, which is exciting because I try not to buy candles unless I've burned through the ones I have. So that's kind of everything that I wanna do in this vlog. I think it's gonna be a very fun vlog, but I need to go ahead and get ready, head to church, and then head on back home. For today's outfit, I am wearing this dress that I got in my newly order. This is the one that I said looks like an American Girl doll dress, but I do think it's really cute for spring, so I'm wearing this. And then the back is just cute. It's open and then i'm wearing my favorite steve madden sandals i've been wearing these all the time they're the perfect shoes for spring but we are about to head out and head to church it's the most beautiful day outside can't wait to have a good sunday certainly not common in our culture for us to think about being his attribute that we should walk and be present in all of our lives We're back from church. I just went ahead and changed into this tank top that I recently got my Florida vlogs from Urban Outfitters. Same with my shorts because it feels like summer today. But before then, I'm gonna make some lunch. And I'm so thankful that Daily Harvest is sponsoring today's video because I'm actually making one of their Harvest Bakes. And if you guys haven't heard of Daily Harvest, they make it so easy to get more whole foods and just healthier food into your diet. And before I share more about them, I do wanna say that I do have a code with them. I actually use my own code. I'm getting another box of Daily Harvest tomorrow 
tomorrow, but you can use my code Michelle Reed and that will get you $40 off your first box, which is a great deal because you can get so many items. I believe the smallest amount of items you can get is nine and then you can get way more than that as well if you want. They have so many different food options on their website. So you can do their harvest bakes, you can use their smoothies, they have oat bowls, they have chia seed bowls, they have a ton of different things. They have these really good energy bites that are in my next box that's coming tomorrow. While I do love cooking, I honestly don't really cook a lot of lunches and breakfasts that much. I kind of like to keep those meals pretty simple and so Daily Harvest makes it so easy because all the food comes straight to your door and it's frozen. If it's a smoothie, you can just add whatever milk you want and pop it into your blender and blend it up. It also comes in a little cup that you can take on the go, which is really nice. And then if you're making one of their Harvest Bakes, which is what I'm making right now, all you do is take out the packaging and then you pop it into the oven and you can cook it for 30 minutes or so. So the one I'm making right now, this one is chickpea coconut curry. And what I love about Daily Harvest is all the ingredients are listed right here. So you know you're just getting things that have absolutely clean ingredients. So this one has chickpea, cauliflower, sweet potato, cashew, curry, and moringa, moringa. This one's actually my favorite. I made this one once before. It's delicious. And you can add protein to these if you want, or you can use them as side dishes because this one has chickpea and it has, I think, 560 calories. So this one's definitely a full meal for me. This one has artichoke in it. This one is squash and wild rice. So they have so many options on the website. If you're paleo, keto, vegan, any sort of diet that you subscribe to, everything is just really fresh and it tastes amazing. It really does. I've gotten so many people on Daily Harvest because they're just the best. So. It's a little bit steamy, but this one is so good, so delicious. Just took it out of the oven. I will have Daily Harvest linked down below if you guys want to check them out. Again, you can use my code Michelle Reed and that'll get you up to $40 off your first box of Daily Harvest. You want to go so nice and so nice to get to see our friends and we also afterwards went to Bahama Bucks and got snow cones and Cash got a little pup cup it was really cute because it actually does feel like spring today but I did some work on my laptop was just finishing up my podcast for tomorrow as well as doing some video edits and suddenly it is now 7 15 so I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm making these turkey stuffed peppers, which I've never made this recipe before, but I do love making stuffed peppers. I think they're super easy to make. And this one is from The Modern Proper, which I do love their recipes a lot. And then I think I'm just gonna do it with a side salad too, just a really big salad. Every time we come back from vacation, I'm always craving just like a lot of vegetables and healthier food, so it should be good. So I realized when I was making dinner tonight that I had accidentally chopped the bell peppers that I was supposed to stuff. So ended up making a taco mixture <laughs> with the bell peppers and I'm just gonna dip it with some tortilla chips and then I made the salad. So a little bit of a fail, but essentially the same thing. Everything's just kind of mixed in. The filling is the best part anyways. So. <laughs> It is the next day. I just dropped off Aiden at work and I'm about to do a bit of a spring shopping session. I just want to say that I don't think you need to go out and buy a lot of stuff for any new season, whether that be for spring, fall, Christmas, all of that. If you guys watched during Christmas time, I did a Christmas decorate with me video. I don't think it's absolutely necessary, but I do think it's a nice way to kind of refresh your home if there are a few things that you want to get. And I always try to do it at more affordable stores and also hit up 
thrift stores if I can and also buy things that I can keep for the next season or just things that I can keep in my apartment and not take them down when the season changes. So it is the most gloomy day today. So I figured I would shop for things today and then put them up tomorrow. And I'm also wearing this top that I got from Anthropology. I got this on sale. I really like it. I think it's cute. But when I was putting it on, one of the buttons popped off. And also I feel like this one right here is about to pop off too, which is so sad. I understand why it was on sale now. I was going to link this, but I don't think you should buy it because it is obviously not very well made. I think I'm going to go to Target because I've actually been in Target and I've been liking their stuff lately. So I'm going to go there. There's a place called Tuesday Morning. I don't know if they have those everywhere, but they're kind of like a home goods, but a bit more random <laughs> and it's really affordable. So I want to go there and then home goods. Those are the places that I want to try to go to. I don't really know of any home thrift stores around us. There's Goodwill, but I never really find anything when I try to go to Goodwill. So those are the three that I think I'm going to go to. We will see if we have some success. When I call up, I'm to say I'm in town. I get an ocean. We both walk the same ground. Been traveling all over, searching far and away. For a sign to lead me straight We walk together Down the streets of our home It's been forever A long time that I've been gone The feelings come easy Back now from shopping and I got some great stuff Not too much stuff, just a few things here and there So I'm gonna show you guys that tomorrow When I actually put everything up and do more of my refreshing the home because it's gonna be much better weather tomorrow and it's just really gloomy in here. So it's not the vibe, but tomorrow will be the vibe. I'm now gonna do some spring cleaning and I'm really not gonna go crazy because there's a part of me that wants to deep clean this entire place, but that would take me hours upon hours. And realistically, I have a good two hours, hour and a half, no, two hours that I really wanna spend cleaning things that don't normally get cleaned in my typical weekly cleaning routine, which I do have a video on that if you wanna watch that. It's kind of more of a intense, deep cleaning video. But the few things that I wanna to do today, one, I really want to clean out our sink. So I have kind of like a natural seat cleaner that I'll do. I just find it on Google, it's not my recipe or anything, but it uses lemon and then I think vinegar and those kinds of things. So I'm gonna clean out our sink because obviously that gets used all the time, but realistically I haven't done that in probably a few months, so we'll do that. I also wanna do our couch refresher with baking soda. And I also use that on the rug. So essentially it's just baking soda and essential oil. I found this from Kristen John's years ago. So I'll share that. I do that on the couch and then I'm also gonna do it on our mattress. So I went ahead and stripped the bed of the sheets as you can see over there. And then I really wanna vacuum all the areas that don't normally get vacuumed. So I wanna move this TV console and vacuum under there. I'm also washing a lot of our blankets cause I'm gonna store a lot of those. Vacuum the couch. So just those kinds of things. That's kind of the goal for the next couple of hours. I also changed into this set. This is from Target. It's so so cute it's like a little linen pj set but i would honestly wear this out too i think it's just a cute comfortable set to wear while we start doing a little bit of cleaning so for cleaning the sink all i use is baking soda a little bit of cleaning vinegar this is nothing revolutionary you can google this and then a lemon and essentially all i do is pour about a half a cup of baking soda down the disposal and then i'm going to spray it with a little bit of the vinegar i have this in a spray bottle and i just let that sit for about 15 minutes i'm sure if you do it longer it's probably better but I'm just gonna leave it for about 15 minutes and let that soak in. And then I rinse it out with hot water. And then for the sink, I'm also gonna use the baking soda again and just sprinkle it around, spray a little bit of the vinegar everywhere and let that sit also for 10 minutes. And then something that I like to do is actually use a lemon. I'm gonna cut this in half and just scrub it with the lemon. I like the scent it gives off, but lemon also helps with removing stains, which ours definitely has quite a bit of stains. And it's easy to kind of get over the sides and the crevices and all the areas that you often miss. So. And I know what I should say. I also forgot to mention this, but another thing I want to do is organize the pantry a little bit. It is honestly a disaster. And I have honestly cleaned this so many times, but I think that the organization method just isn't great. But I'm not one of those people who can keep up with like the perfect pantry where everything's in the perfect container. 
it just isn't realistic and I kind of stop attempting to be kind of that Pinterest <laughs> clean because it just doesn't work. But with that being said, it does need to be organized. I need to just get rid of a few things. And then also we have a lot of random stuff on the floor that I want to go through. So we're going to do that just while I let this sit for 15 minutes. Okay, I just finished organizing. It doesn't look that much different, but definitely everything is back in its place. And then I just went ahead and put my oats in this glass jar that we had. I really wanna make these blondie bars from Trader Joe's. I've never made them, but I've always seen those. And my thought process for putting my reusable bags here is that when I go to see what we're out of before grocery shopping, I will notice them and not forget to bring them. I know I could also put them in our car, but we use these for other reasons too, just around the house. So I like to keep them in the house. And then we have extra paper towels this has been sitting for a bit so i'm now just going to go in with my lemon and scrub away and the sink is clean the reason why i love to do this mainly is because it makes the kitchen smell good with the lemon juice so that feels really good that that's done So for our carpet and rug deodorizer, I just use a little bit of this baking soda. I'll actually put the screenshot of Kristen John's on top if you wanna copy that. But all I do is use all, probably the rest of my baking soda because I'm almost out. I really don't have that much. And I have this bag of essential oils and I try to only use, or I do only use essential oils that are also safe for dogs because Cash is obviously laying all over our carpet. So basically you just sprinkle some essential oils on the baking soda though. And such an awkward angle but I just sprinkle a little bit of this and the key is I know this isn't great for vacuums to vacuum up baking soda and a lot of people advise against this so do this at your own risk I just try to really sprinkle it evenly so there aren't any big clumps that I'm vacuuming up because I know my sister Jamie once broke my mom's vacuum by doing that so just be careful you don't need a ton it also is pretty potent and then on our couch, something that I like to do is every now and then just take off all of the cushions and everything. I need to get these dry clean because our couch doesn't even look white anymore. But I'm gonna take these off and I'm gonna sprinkle the deodorizer on the bottom of the couch and then just vacuum it off. And I also like to put some of this on our mattress too because this really also freshens it up. hardly ever vacuum over here just because there's so many cords and stuff but needs to be done and then back over here is a corner that i also usually kind of forget to vacuum just because our fiddle leaf is huge over here so we're going to move this and then vacuum over here I just finished doing my two hours of cleaning. It feels so good. It also smells amazing in our apartment right now. I'm now gonna do some work on my laptop. I've been working on this video for, I kid you not, probably eight hours at this point. It's my Florida vlog and anytime I do travel videos or videos where I have a lot of different clips from different cameras, it takes me so long to edit. So I'm working on this video. I need to finish it today though. So I'm probably gonna have to work on this in the evening too. Did he put his paws on you like that? Oh my goodness.
It's the next day and it is a much more beautiful day. So I'm really excited to show you everything that we got for doing a little home refresh today. The sun is also about to come through so it might get a little bit bright here in a second, but I have never worn my hair in a bandana like this. So I don't know if I can pull it off. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I thought it was springy. This one's from Target, it's really cute. We'll start off with Target because I got the most stuff there. First, I got these fake greens to use in that vase over there that I shared. I think these are gonna look much better. They had a bunch of different ones. So these ones look like baby's breath and then they got some yellow flowers and I thought that these are really pretty. I'm usually not really into fake florals, but our apartment just doesn't get that much sun. It gets sun for the next two hours and then it's a little bit darker. So I can't get like real greenery there. I got this pot to replant our pothos and I like this one because it actually has a plug in it and this was really cheap. And by plug, I mean it has an area for it to drain which is important for watering plants, obviously. Okay, this was kind of an impulse buy, but I think that these are so beautiful. These are just these wallflowers. These weren't even in the spring section or anything, but I just saw them and I thought they were cute. And I think they would look so cute above my desk. So we're gonna try to put these up. I don't know if I need anything special to hang these up, but I don't think so. I got a couple of candles. This one is the sandalwood and clay. And this one has kind of a more masculine scent, which I like. And then this one, is red mango and amber and this one's from threshold it has the wood wicks in it too so it smells really great we'll put this somewhere in the living room this was actually in the dollar section and i don't know where i'm gonna put this yet but i might actually pop my plant on this or use something it's just like a little trivet where you can set things on but this was really cheap it was only three dollars and they had quite a few good ones target had a really good dollar section stuff in their bullseye section i got this small vase that i thought this was a really pretty color i don't really use a lot of blue in our home but thought this was pretty and then i also got just like one of these little fake greeneries again to put in it and i think i'm gonna put this on the shelf when i style them we got a couple of kitchen things so this is actually a table runner i've never had a table runner and i'm gonna keep the receipt i kept my receipt so if i don't use anything i thought this would be sweet to put on our table i've never actually used a table runner before and our table is a circle so i don't know if this is gonna look weird but we'll see this one's from the magnolia collection and then we also have some hand towels I just needed new hand towels because ours get so dirty. I need to stop buying white ones, but I just think they're pretty. And I liked the yellow lining in that. This is from Target. This actually isn't really for spring, but we need a new bath mat because ours is really gross. And I love yellow. If you can't tell, most of the things I got are yellow. It just makes me so happy. I love warm tones in our home. And so I thought that this would be a nice bath mat. And this is from Threshold. There's a lot of good Threshold stuff. This might be my favorite thing I got. And this was kind of, again, just an impulse buy. I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet, but I think I might put it somewhere over here, like hanging from one of the floating shelves if that doesn't look tacky. But it's this really cute garland and flowers and just a bunch of different spring stuff on it. I just thought this was really cute. And I found this and decided that we're gonna put that somewhere. And lastly from Target, I just got a new blanket to put over here. I'm gonna take out the brown one that I have for winter time and I'm gonna put this one in. And so I wanted this to be something I could keep for the long term and it's really soft. I actually already washed this yesterday. So that one is good to go. And then the only thing I got from Home Goods was this rug for the kitchen, which is so pretty again with the yellow. I love yellow so much. I thought that this would be pretty to replace ours that got ruined in there, but this one is such a pretty color. I love it. And I also just got a mat to put down on that as well. And then lastly from Tuesday morning, I only got a couple of things. The first thing I realize is kind of summery more than spring, but I don't really care. Ever since coming back from Florida, I've been feeling very coastal. These are just really pretty crushed seashells and I'm probably gonna put these in clear vase. I think I might already have one, so I didn't wanna buy one. But those were only, I think $5 for that. And then lastly, I got this frame, which I thought would be pretty with the seashells to lighten things up. And I don't have a ton of photos around our apartment, honestly, because I don't like having a ton of photos everywhere, but I thought a photo would look really nice over on the shelves. In Florida, we took these photos and they're some of my favorite photos ever. And sometimes I am asked how I get photos of the two of us, even when it's just us. And 
you just gotta use a self-timer tripod. I have a cheap one from Amazon. I don't even care anymore. I don't really get embarrassed because it takes five minutes of embarrassment and then you have photos for the rest of your life. I got these two photos developed and I didn't actually know the size of the frame when I was developing them. So I just got a couple of different sizes, but this is the photo. They're so sweet. I love these so much. And I think that they'll be pretty just for spring to kind of liven things up. And with the blue, I think that this will look nice. Everything that I can link, I will link down below, but that is everything. So we're gonna do a little refresh I'm very excited. I figured to start we can first plant my pothos propagation because I actually need to water my plants too. So this is the status of it, especially this one right here. There's so many roots that are coming out. And I watched a couple of videos last night. Aiden was like, what are you watching? So this is this guy explaining how to do it. And I think that I'm actually only going to put a couple in here because this is such a small pot. It's not really that big. And it works out because I actually need to change the water in here soon. And I'm gonna do some new ones. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. I'm pretty sure it's not that complicated. I think I just put the soil in and then make room for the propagation and then make it happen. I am obsessed. I was trying to figure out a place that I can put it. I only ended up doing one of the propagations in here, or I don't even know the actual term for it because I don't want to overcrowd it. So I'm going to go ahead, I think put this over by my desk. I think that would be a cute spot. Yeah, on the windowsill over there. But now you're gone and all I have is, all I have is time. here too i think that gives it a little bit of dimension and oh my gosh it's so cute i love it it's so cool how you can make a plant from literally another plant i know that's the most basic thing but i just think it's all awesome i think this is where i'm gonna put the little flowers i know it might be a bit busy for some people but this is currently my favorite part of our apartment because it's my desk space and so these just make me really happy and i think that they'll be really pretty just placed right above here, especially because this is a blank wall, but it's still kind of, I mean, it's off-white, so it doesn't really match the shelf in the wall, but it does match my desk, so we'll see. Here they are. I think they're really cute. I don't know if I love the placement of where I put them, quite yet, but I do think they're really cute with the shelf. And I know they're not everyone's style. They are a little random, but there's something about it that makes me happy. So I'm probably gonna keep it because I like my desk space a lot and it's more so about feeling inspired than actually being totally, I don't know, great for interior design. But I'm gonna do this corner. I'm gonna start with switching these out and then also switching my blankets out. This blanket is Cash's blanket. He's about to come over here. He's on the couch right now. And for some reason, he doesn't really hump other dogs or anything, but he loves this blanket in particular. So I think I'm gonna move it over to our basket over here and then put the new one in, but he's probably gonna get upset that I moved his blanket. I'm gonna switch up the shelves and I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do here yet. This is gonna take me a second, but I do wanna get rid of most of this. I'm not get rid of, just put it away for a little bit. The things I'm gonna add are the things I showed you. And then I also have this spring print from my sister-in-law Avery. She did this cause she's an artist and I think it's really pretty. I love this one. And then I also really love my watering can and I like to put stuff on my shelves that I'm actually using as well. So it's not just wasted space. So I think that this is cute. And then the things that I showed you, we'll see about the garland. I really like it, it's so cute. And honestly, Aiden doesn't really mind girly things, but this might be a little bit ambitious for me to see if he likes it, but I think it could be really cute strung up here. Like, isn't that just so sweet for Easter and spring? I just don't know if he's gonna love it. He's gonna come back and be like, what have you done with the place? But we'll see. Here. 
Here are my shelves. I love the way that I did the shelves, but I don't think I'm gonna keep the garland up because it does look a little cheesy, but it's so cute. I just had to tape it so you can kind of see it right here, but I do think it's sweet, but I think it's more for a party or something to put it up, but it's really cute. I had a vision. It just did not come to fruition, but I do really like my greens right here. I think it really livens it up more, and I really just wanted to brighten this corner. That was the main thing. I'm recording a reel because that's one of my goals right now if you watch my March video. I ended up moving the garland over here, and I think it looks a lot better than up there. It kind of distracts from the cords that we have, which I know we can have a solution for that. I just have not put in the effort to try to hide those. And I think it looks better here. So I'm gonna keep it here for now. I think it's kind of cute, but again, it is a little tacky and cheesy, but it makes me happy. It's like, I don't wanna keep it up. I'm now gonna try to put the table runner over here. I also didn't mention, but I already have flowers. I got these over the weekend, but that's another way I really love to refresh for spring. So we're gonna try it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, but we'll see. Cash down there. This is his new spot. He loves laying by the table, but I really didn't have high hopes for the table runner. But the thing is there's a giant water stain right here. And this does a really great job of covering it while still being pretty minimal, which I like. So I love this, looks good. We have finished putting everything up. I love how it looks. It's very just simple, but really happy. I love everything that I included. I ended up using everything. If the garland stays, we will see. But yeah, it makes me really happy. I hope this gives you some inspiration not to have to go out and buy a bunch of things, but just to add a little bit of life and color in your home because it always makes me happy just getting to appreciate new things in our house. So I am actually gonna get some work done today though. I have quite a bit of editing to do for the rest of the day. And then we're also doing another F45 workout and we're going to Austin tomorrow. So I have to book our hotel, do all that kind of stuff too. So it's gonna be a busy rest of the afternoon, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and just end off this vlog here because I kind of, achieved the goal of this which was to refresh and just revive for spring so i hope you guys enjoyed i will catch you guys in my next video bye friends